All right, so our next question comes from Victor, and he's having a problem Well, he's in close guard. He's looking to do more of a sack pass that he's getting caught with the Scorpion Rib Crush. Submission's one of one favorites, and uh, he's looking for tips on how to not get stuck in this. Yeah, I mean, I usually try to watch the videos that are linked in these questions, yeah. but I fucking refuse to watch a submissions one on one video because I don't want to get stupider and worse at jujitsu. So, uh, but with that, I do know the technique that we're talking about, and in watching the video that you sent us, it's not even really Scorpion Rib no. Crush, right? Like, let's just let's just show you what we're talking about. So the pass that we're talking about here, this is kind of like an MMA guy style of dealing with the guard, which is to like hold the biceps come up off the knees and like drive forward like crazy here. And then usually the objective is to come over top like this and like break the guard open with hip pressure. Um, it's not my personal favorite way to pass the guard. I think you have to have a lot of attributes to make it work, but it's effective. So, um, and then the scorpion rib crush is usually when he's able to get his arms free and reach behind his knees and then extend. Yeah. Why aren't you tapping? Uh, it's because it's kind of uncomfortable, but it's not really going to hurt me. So anyway, it's, it's a non-functional submission that I can't, like... I don't ever want to shit on people for tapping the stuff, because until you know where your limits are, the wise thing to do is always be like, I don't know what this is, therefore I should tap. And again, I don't know how strong... Like The, the version that we saw in the video is literally just the dude extending his legs and squeezing like this. I'm gonna tear my groin. Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe your training partner is just like the spawn of Famke Jansen and Goldeneye and has like the most crazy fucking thigh pressure. But realistically, this shouldn't be a submission. What I can hopefully do is give you some tips on how to like avoid the pressure. The first one being, if I've got my hands on the biceps and I'm starting to stack when his like, Right now, Rory's thighs are around my hips. For this to become a rib thing, he's got to climb his guard up a little bit. So when we're doing this, I don't know if you can see what my elbows are doing right now, but they're blocking his thighs. So let's just turn. So rather than keeping my elbows out here, when I come up into the stack, I place my elbow, and it only has to happen on one side for it to be effective. I place my elbow as a frame against his thigh. So he can never get his thigh up onto my ribs and he'll have to open his guard to adjust, and then I'll be able to try whatever kind of passing on. So that's the first thing that I can give you. If you're not able to do that, and as I come up and he starts to climb up to his position, I'm just gonna angle my hips slightly. So he goes ahead and does his squeeze. Like there's absolutely no way he's gonna generate any meaningful pressure because one of the legs is pushing against my spine, my spine. So if your partner can submit you then, Jesus, like seriously, get him a job like, working for some evil corporation because like that kind of crushing thigh strength is really abnormal. But yeah, like as long as you block here or blade your hips a little bit while you're performing the stacking pressure. So my left hip is slightly higher, my right hip is down. I just need to be really careful with my post here, right? I don't want to do this kind of thing and get tipped over, um, but that should negate it. Uh, report back to us. Honestly, this is one of those like kind of mystifying things because this shouldn't work, and I don't want to call you a pussy and say that you're tapping to nothing because I don't, I'm not there and I don't know it's like how hard this guy's squeezing you, but that's, it's a possibility that that's what's happening. 